What trail are we doing, Tina? Uh, Mount, Mount Fremont. Mount Fremont Trail, six miles, right? Mm -hmm. Six miles, and it is what time? Eight o'clock in the morning. Eight o'clock in the morning, and we're getting started. <laughs> Don't get too close to that edge. I will not. I'm not one of those that you have to worry about that with. You want to house sit right here? Well, if it wasn't a trail, would you want to house sit right here? <laughs> Maybe, but I have to be a little farther away from the edge. With a big picture window looking out right here. We have a gorgeous view so far. Not too hazy. Yeah. Got a great view of Mount Rainier. Sun's shining on it right now, reflecting off the snow. Beautiful. Gain some more elevation here. Hopefully get some better views. Yeah. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah. I'm gonna go slow and steady. I'll get there. We'll get there. What do you think of the view so far? I love that there's so many that you can stop at and rest and just say you're gazing at the view. <laughs> you have an excuse to take <laughs> yeah. a bunch of breaks? Yeah. You see the marmot? Look at the marmot. Look how cool that is. I didn't see that. No? It's like he's posing for us. That was cool. All worth it. Every step. Still a little hazy over those peaks. We're hoping it uh, burns off a little as the day goes on. I'm sure it will. frozen lake viewpoint there's some ice there but it's not super frozen the edges are frozen but the blue at the edge is just beautiful it's just absolutely gorgeous And our climb has just begun. Because when we get up there, we're going to have a view of that. Somewhere in there. Look for a white dot. There's a mountain goat. What'd you say, Tina? Oh my goodness. 
whole herd of mountain goats down there. That is so cool. He's getting a little closer, or we're getting a little closer to it. Very bottom in the middle of the meadow there. Towards the back. The GoPro's picking them up. The herd, they all lay down. Just grazing in the sun. Can you believe what you just saw? Yeah, it's the first time I saw a mountain goat in the wild. And it crossed like five or 10 feet in front of us. Yeah, it did. Okay, the mountain goats that we saw earlier, way down there, are now down in there. Whole herd of them. It's like there's probably 20 or so. I still can't believe that one crossed in front of us like he did. What's that? He said we're almost there. We're at 2.1 miles. 800 more feet in elevation gain to go. That's still a lot. Especially so when we consider how much trail we have left. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll take a break at the top. Sit down for a bit, hopefully. Even if I have to put on my jacket to keep the mosquitoes off of me, I'm going to sit down for a little bit. This is pretty spectacular, I'm not gonna lie. It's like amazing. That's the ridge line we're getting ready to follow here. We just turned the corner and now we're gonna follow this ridge line all the way up to the top up there. To that tower, if you can see it on the GoPro. Gorgeous, just stunning. Look at this black rock. It's just gorgeous. It's lava. Oh, it's beautiful. This rock beside the trail actually looks like a face. If you look really hard, you can see its eyebrows and its nose and its chin. <laughs> We almost made it. We're about there. The hut we're trying to get to. Okay, this was our lunch spot. That's where we sat and ate. And that was our view. Had to uh, bundle up though. I have never seen so many horse flies in my life. They just sit on guard and wait for you to stop for two seconds and the second you stop you got about 15 of them on you so I geared up and now they pretty much can't get me they're gonna have to bite through a layer of clothes to get me Beautiful. I'm done. You're not going to the end? I'm, this is the end. I'm not walking around this thing. I'm not walking around, but I'm going to go to the corner.
I just don't want to even leave this place. I'm gonna build a house down there. This is what we get to look at on the way back. We're just walking on a mudslide of scree. That'd probably be a scree slide then. <laughs> Here, Tina's joke. You're funny. Say that again. I said so. That would probably be a scree slide then. I wish I had the bravery to climb that. Amazing. Just plain amazing. That view is spectacular. No clouds, maybe a tiny little mist in the air and that's about it. Looks like I could run right over there and start checking up it. Yeah, it would take about six months of training at least. And up and down about 10 times with a guide first. Even though you're on a out and back trail, a lot of times when you're backtracking your steps, it feels like you're on a whole different trail. You see things in a different view and it just looks completely different. Okay, so we made it back from Mount Fremont, Mount Fremont Lookout Trail and it was amazing tina what's our stats it was 5.9 miles in length <clears throat> we had about 1900 feet elevation gain and i do recommend starting this trail earlier because there was a lot of people on our way back down that were starting up the trail so earlier start is definitely better what time did we get started six no we started hiking at eight but we were up here in the parking lot about six thirty seven o'clock oh that's right we sat here and ate breakfast for a while yeah, we yeah. probably should have started hiking a little bit sooner we would even had less people but we're not complaining there wasn't that many people um going up it was coming down where we started running in a lot of people which was fine uh it was just an amazing trail i give it five stars out of five stars it, it had a lot of different scenery. The only thing that was super annoying on this trail was the biting flies. The horse flies. They were just sitting off the trail about 10 feet. And if you stopped for three seconds, there would be about 15 of them around you. So, I mean, it was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that was not a COVID sneeze. That was a dust sneeze. Um, feel fine.